Colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer and second leading cause of cancer deaths in men and women in the United States. We went to Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs and spoke to Dr. David Johnson, who explains colon cancer surgery. There can be symptoms uh, related to colon cancer. Uh, you can have bleeding. Uh, you can also have uh, cramping or abdominal pain due to obstruction or near, obstruct, near obstruction of the tumor. Uh, however, majority of colon cancers uh, can be detected early when there's no signs of symptoms. That's what the importance of uh, colon cancer screening is for. Uh, right now, I believe the risk of colon cancer or the incidence of colon cancer is 1 in 20,000 Americans. If colon cancer is detected, what are the options? Once the cancer is uh, detected, uh, surgery is uh, by far the, uh, the best um, option for treatment. Uh, not only does it provide removal of the cancer, but it also uh, provides uh, adequate sampling of the lymph nodes, which is important for staging purposes. Uh, traditionally, we had made an open incision in the abdomen that can extend anywhere from uh, five to six uh, inches to as long as ten inches long. Uh, the problem with that surgery is very painful and the convalescence in the hospital can be a week to uh, two weeks. For the past, oh, for ten years or so, um, minimally invasive surgery has been applied to uh, colon surgery and found to be just as, just as efficacious, um, if not uh, superior in some regards to open surgery. Uh, what this involves is uh, small incisions in your abdomen, just like uh, a lot of people get the, their gallbladders taken out laparoscopically. The same principles apply to, uh, to colon surgery. Uh, the area of the colon that needs to be resected is done. Uh, the uh, the um, adjacent lymph nodes are harvested, so there's an adequate uh, sampling. And uh, the patient is put back together. Um, and uh, this is done with uh, minimal um, uh, pain uh, due to the, the size of the incisions. The great advantage for the patient is the recovery. On average, um, depending on what part of the colon is taken out, uh, hospital stay can be as short as uh, two to uh, four days. Also, when it comes to recovery at home, a lot of uh, patients are back doing the things they want to do, whether it be jogging, golfing, uh, biking, whatever they want to do within two weeks with a full recovery. It's not uncommon, I meet a lot of patients that state that they're off golfing with their friends and their friends ask them, when are you getting your colon surgery? And he'll lift up his, his shirt and say, see this little incision on my belly button? I already had it, and, then, and to their amazement. We asked Dr. Johnson about the success in treating cancer of the colon. The success in eradicating uh, cancer from the colon really depends on how advanced uh, the cancer is. I mean, if it is confined to the uh, colon and there's no lymph node involvement, uh, uh, patients should have 90% um, you know, um, or better a survival rate. However, once the lymph nodes are involved, that decreases down to 60% uh, and also will require the uh, addition of chemotherapy to help increase that survival rate. According to the American Cancer Society, treatment for colon cancer has improved over the last several years, and as a result, there are now more than one million survivors of colon cancer in the United States. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.